Welcome to Excel Fort. My name is Fami. This is another video from the series How to be super productive in Excel and Power Query. In our second example, we are looking at a set of data here. This is a bit more complicated than the first one. If you look at it, we have multiple column headers. We have the year, the sales from C to F is merged, and we have the quarters. What we are trying to do here is to convert this data into a layout which we can use for analysis in pivot tables. So the layout that I am trying to get here, quarter, products and sales. Before I get this data into Power Query, let me convert this into a table. You can use Control T to convert this to a table. Let me untick this option. So let Excel create its own column headers and click OK. Fine. Now to get data into Power Query is using the data tab from table or range. There is another way from the right click menu. You go and click on get data from. Now my data is loaded into Power Query editor. So let me zoom in control shift and plus yes before we go ahead and do the unpivot of this data set we need to do two things we need to combine the column headers into a single row whenever you have multiple column headers the first step you need to do is to combine them into a single row as you can see we have the year in first row the quarters are in second row what I am trying to achieve here is to have both together in a single row like 2015 Q1, 2015 Q2 and so on. Power Query doesn't allow you to do the merging of rows but you can do for columns. So we need to do the transpose of this data set. To do that, go to transform tab and click on transpose. As you can see, once you have done the transpose operation, it has transformed the rows into columns and the columns into rows. We see a problem here. The years are not repeated for every row. So we need to fill down the years, replace null with the relevant years. How do you do that? There is a cool little function. You can right click. Select fill and fill down. Now we have the years in the column. We can merge column 1 and column 2. Select both by using control. Select merge columns. When you merge columns, you need to provide a separator. Let's give a separator that is not available in our data set will give the equal sign and you can give it a name for the new column let's leave it as it is merged click ok now we have a single column column 1 and 2 have been merged into a single column this is going to be the column header for us we need to transpose it back click on transpose now that we have combined year and quarter into a single row, we should be able to make them the column headers. How do you do that? Go to Home tab, click on Use First Row as Headers. As you see, now we have the column headers properly set up here. It's time to go ahead and do the unpivot now. Since we have many columns to the right, right click on Product and choose and pivot other columns we have products in the first column year and quarter in the second and the sales value in the third column what we need is we need to split year and quarter into two different columns right click in the column header choose split column by delimiter power query has identified a consistent delimiter has been applied already which is the equal sign and we are going to accept that and click OK. 
now we'll go ahead and rename the columns this should be products this is year this is quarter the last one is let's check the data types first one text fine this one will make it as text as well quarter fine text and this is whole number great we'll go ahead and load it to a worksheet click on load and load to I'm going to choose table on a new worksheet so the data that we had was in multiple column headers we have done the unpivoting of the data and got the results as we expected great one last thing we need to do is uh, I forgot to rename the query as you can see in the query pane it shows as table 6 if you want to make changes modify the query right click on this click edit I'll do the renaming of the query we'll make it as sample 2 so let's load it back to the worksheet If you want to watch the other two parts of this video, please click on these video links. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.